So let's create a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit apps, I'm going to hit sheets, I'm going to hit blank sheet, blank spreadsheet, and the first thing you should always, always, always do is give it a name, never leave it as untitled. So I'm going to call this uh, manufacturing project timeline. Now I'm going to write video example on here. And what that is because I'm making a video here. Again, the whole point of a file name is that you should be able to find whatever it is that you're looking for. So I want to find the one I'm using for this video right here, so I'm going to put that there. All right, so here we have a nice spreadsheet right here. So spreadsheets are great at organizing information, at organizing data. We have rows going this way. We have columns going this way. The way I always remember that is if you think of like a Greek column, right? that we learned about in like second grade, fourth grade, something. Columns go up and down, right? So if you think of columns, columns go up and down right here. So this is column D, this is column F, this is column H. Row, if you think about you're rowing a boat, you go sideways, so this way. So this is row nine, this is row 16. Where they come together, each one of these little rectangles is a cell. So this right here is cell E6. This cell right here is F3 right there. Right. Um, so if you click and hold, you can highlight multiple cells. If you hold shift, so click a cell, hold shift on the keyboard, and then click another one, it'll select everything in between those. If I click a cell and hold control on my keyboard, it'll be just the ones you click on. If you need to select everything. So control A is select all in most things. But uh, so in spreadsheets, we've got this little thing right here, this little corner. It looks like a button. It's not. Well, no, it doesn't look like a button, but it is a button. Sorry. Uh, but you click on that little corner right there, it selects everything. Um, if I want to zoom in so I can actually see things, if I zoom in on Chrome like I normally do, what it's going to do is it's going to make this toolbar gigantic. So if I zoom in just like I normally do, you'll see that takes up half my screen. So if you need to zoom in, you use this little zoom right here. So I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to put it at 200 just so you can see on here. You put it whatever you need to look at. Uh, I'm going to delete this because I don't want that there. All right. So before we get started, a couple of nice tips and tricks for uh, using spreadsheets. So these work in Google Sheets, these work in Microsoft Excel, any kind of spreadsheet tool, most of them have the same. Computers are great at numbers and dealing with numbers. And that's what a spreadsheet is, is a whole bunch of numbers and information. So let's say I wanted to number like one through 30, right? I could do one, two, three, four, five, but that's gonna take a while. Since computers are great at math, I'm going to do 1, and I'm going to do 2, and the computer can probably figure out the pattern from there. So if I highlight these two, this little circle right here in the bottom right corner, if I grab that and I go down, it's going to figure out, hey, you've got a pattern here, I'm going to keep going on that pattern. And I can just drag this down and it'll count however far I need. I can also do it going sideways, so let's say I have... Uh, let's count by fives. Five, ten. It can probably figure out from here. I probably want 15, 20, 25, 30. So I grab that little bottom thing. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, etc. Let's say I go Monday, Tuesday. Highlight, drop it down. Okay, cool. It knows the days of the week. Let's say dates. Today is the 15th of April, so 4 slash 15 slash 24. When I hit enter, it knows that that's a date. So hey, look, 15, 16, 20, 18, 19, 20. All right, so we're going to use those couple of things to make this a little bit easier. All right, so let's delete all that. I'm going to select all by clicking this little button right here. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard, and that clears it out for us. So let's kind of set this up. So what is this? This is, uh, I'm going to put my name. I'm going to put project timeline. This is just kind of like a little title right here. I'm going to put my period number. 
Now I know I want my tasks going down this way. So right now I'm just kind of putting in some placeholder things. I know I'm going to have 11 tasks. So I know I'm going to have the timeline. I know I'm going to have C and C. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I know I'm going to have 3D printing. And I know I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's my task my timeline, my five. 3D printing or CNC ones, my five 3D printing ones. Doesn't matter what order you put it in because we're going to get it to them all anyway. But just realize these assignments go in order. So the CNC ones go in order. The 3D printing ones go in order. But you can do either one, either unit first. Right. Uh, we also need some dates here. So now our calendar, ultimately, we're going to have just your class dates and maybe the weekends on here um, but we're gonna start off with all of the dates so every day from here to the end of the school year now something to be aware of right now I am recording this for the spring 2024 uh, semester the dates I'm using use whatever dates are for now whenever you're doing this so uh, I'm gonna start with uh, let's say April 17th all right so I'm gonna put uh, let's put 4 slash 17 slash 24 all right so it knows that that's a date I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna keep going all right so I got all my dates here and let's go until the end of the year this end of the year is June 12th so I'm looking at the blue day white day calendar we want to go to June 12th. Now, if I bring it all the way over here, you'll notice I can only go to Z. But I want to go further than Z. So if I right click up here, it can say insert, here I'll do it right here, insert one column to the right. So if I do this, insert one column to the right. That lets me go to the next one, insert one column to the right. But I'm going to need a lot more than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's see if this will work. Yeah, check this out. So if I hit this little thing to select all, come over to my rightmost column, right click, now I can insert 28 columns or however many. All right, so let's grab this 511, bring it down here, go to the end. All right, so that brings me to June 10th. Yeah, let's just add two more. So if I highlight two cells, right click, insert to the right all right so that brings me to the end of the school year let's also add days of the week here all right so the 17th is a Wednesday so I'm gonna start with Wednesday actually let's just put wed you can put wed you can put Wednesday whatever you want oops let's drag it over and then I get Thursday awesome so I know this is gonna work correctly drag this all the way down all right so now that's good but if I let's say if I zoom out here it's just a big white blank canvas right here let's add some color in here to add some organization here so let's look at the weekend so let's make the weekends so Saturdays and Sundays, let's make that a gray color. So I'm going to click this E up at the top to get column E. I'm going to hold down Control or Shift and hit F. So now I've got these two columns. Let's come over here to this fill color. And you might want to think to like, hey, let's just black it out right here. But if I make this black, you can't see any of that writing that I have right here. So instead of making it black, let's make it gray. So I'm gonna make it this, I don't know, dark gray one, this gray that's above the greens. So that makes it so I can see that, hey, that's the weekend, but I can still also read the dates if I need to. So I'm gonna go through all of the weekends. So I'm gonna click up here, hold control, 
and do just the weekends and make them all that gray color I should have one more all right there you go so now if I zoomed out you can clearly see where the weeks are that helps us out a lot all right now let's go in and let's add blue days and white days but before we do that is there anything else that we got to worry about so let's go to my calendar here so in the calendar in Schoology I've put the blue day white day calendar so here we are April all right April looks good May oh we got a teacher work day on the third we have a holiday on the 27th so let's go to here let's find wherever May 3rd was So Friday, May 3rd, that's a teacher work day. Let's make that, I don't know, this red color right here. I don't know. You don't have to use the exact colors I'm using. And May 27th, well, that's red color. Um, because we know we're not gonna be here that day. We know we're probably not gonna do any work that day. So let's mark those out. Now let's go through and let's mark our blue days and our white days, our even days and our odd days. Again, use whatever calendar is for you for right now. This right now is only for this semester. All right, so I'm looking at, again, looking at my blue day, white day calendar. Wednesday is a white day, so Thursday is a blue day. And let's pick, I don't know, this little, blue right here light cornflower blue three all right that looks pretty good right there all right then i'm gonna have a monday again holding control monday wednesday friday this will be tuesday thursday is that the right one if you pick a different one that's fine um and then i'm just double checking tuesday all right so tuesday thursday Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. And then that one, so it'll be Tuesday, Thursday again. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday. And we should end on a white day, that is correct, all right. So right now, I've got doo -doo 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 -doo, everything as a calendar right here. So if I zoom out, now you'll notice, so this assignment we're talking about, we're going through April, we're going through May, and it'll be all due June 1st. So it sounds like it's a lot of months right here, but if we actually look at just, let's say just the white days right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and every, uh, maybe 15, 16. So 16 days, everything will be due Saturday, June 1st. So let's go ahead and put our due dates in here. So our first due date, our first section should be due Saturday, May 11th. So I'm gonna click on Saturday, May 11th, Let's make this green. I'm going light green too. Again, if you pick like this really like dark green or really bright green, it just doesn't look very good. So, just pick one. All right, so our first due date is Saturday, May 11. Our second due date is Saturday, June 1st. So taking a look at our schedule here. So what this means is if you're doing the 3D printing first or the CNC first, that first section should be due by this date. Now, we're not here on Saturday, so if you're an even day, it'll be this Friday. If you're an odd day, it'll be this Thursday. The second section will be due Saturday, June 1st. Again, even day this Friday, odd day this Thursday. All right, now, 
we're actually almost done here. Um, so one thing you'll notice when I scroll down here, so when I scroll down, these dates disappear. They go up off the top of the screen. If I wanted to keep those there, so as I scroll, it stays there. This little line right here, so you can grab this little vertical line, this up and down line, or this little horizontal line right here. If I grab that and pull that down below, what that does is that locks this top section. So I can scroll up and down, but that top stays the same. Let's do the same for our tasks over here. Grab this line, let's bring it past right here. So now I can scroll left and right, and it keeps my tasks over here. All right. Uh, let's write down what these actual tasks are. So I'm going to go to here. Let's go CNC unit. So CNC goes one, two, three, four, five. So manufacturing process. Let's put this over here so I can actually see it. So I'm going to put task one, manufacturing process. I'm going to put task two. All right, so go through here, put in task one, ask tasks A through A, B, C, D, E, and then let's keep going from there. 